Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 45 reaction. All right, the previous episode, um, we we were in the middle of the battle between Anna and Hao, and Yo comes in, and then Hao is like, all right, let's have some coffee. And <laughs> both the brothers go to a patch uh, coffee shop where they talk, you know, kind of, uh, they, this is the first time I guess they're actually sitting down, speaking face to face. Uh, they've always been involved and talked with each other always in the battlefield but this time they're like you know actually sitting down and conversing and um yeah now uh, how talks about how uh you know like uh how and talks about how he, uh, yo is not being afraid of him even though he realizes that he can like, you know listen to his inner feelings and everything but yo obviously yo has no fear about how because this is yo we are talking about um he he always tries to find the good in people like and again here as well he's trying to find the part of how that is um suffering and he wants to save that part uh in the end how moves uh, like you know goes away and uh b before defeating how we have to actually obviously actually fight uh ren's team and you know like defeat all the other shaman uh, uh like you know, all the f other fights in the shaman tournament before going to the final they'll have to fight those battles so yeah first uh match is between the ren's team and um yo's team so ren and yo kind of had a conversation and obviously they are a, a little bit angry at yo because he is talking with the enemy that we're supposed to defeat and having coffee with him and the here's the thing ren wants to defeat how while yo is actually trying to save how and ren obviously is not happy with that he is like oh you're naive and we we know ren from these like you know like 50 uh, not 50 but 40 44 episodes and we know that he does, he's like a realist and he is thinking that the thing that yo is thinking here is like a uh, something that can never come true and he's being naive uh, rightfully so obviously because the whole situation does seem like yo is being naive but yo just wants to save how because he he can feel the pain that he has like you know that so many years even not only in this um uh, birth but in the previous births as well he has suffered so much by being betrayed by people and everything so he is like yeah I can feel that uh, how is scared so I want to help him out and uh, yeah the fight begins uh, Ren and Horo Horo are not happy with this whole thing they like and they're completely like going all out uh, Faust and um, Ryu kind of went down and Yo it also is seeming like Yo is also in at a disadvantage against uh, Ren's uh, you know like Oversoul but I don't know, maybe in this episode they're going to turn it around. So let's see. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is episode number 45 of Shaman King. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Link it whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> okay. Like this is what happens, you know, usually in anime battles, whichever team loses first, they kind of jump back by the end of it. And that's why seeing you, you uh, your team at disadvantage in the beginning, I feel like they're going to jump back somehow and grab the win. Let's see. Because I don't believe that, uh, what's his name? Um, Rue and um, Faust were defeated so easily. How, like, however strong uh, Horo Horo and Chocolate has become, and Ren has become, I don't believe they got so easily defeated, so... I'm sure they're going to jump back.
All right. Um, oh my god! Yo! Wait, they lost? Well, uh -huh. Oh my god, he just stood up. Ah! True? Yeah. Yep. Okay. There's enough power in that line. What? What? Did he like conduct it away? Like... Wait... So metal... I'm guessing he conducted it away or something. Three of the teams have already. One of these teams, uh, Kabbalas. After our high spirits. Remaining four high spirits. <laughs> yeah, go. Sure. Okay, well. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, his hand. Ah. Okay. Well, the same thing you also went through, so... Hmm. Free of doubt. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wait, what? Who did that? They did that. Oh, no, what? Oh, my God, what? Whoa. Okay, he came back. There you go. There you go. Ah, oh, Gandharas are here. Oh, there you go. No, no one, no need to fight. No need to fight. Return of Team X1. Four teams. Wait, so who will be fighting in the Team X1? Uh, Lizard will be there, I'm guessing, and who else? <laughs> well... Yeah. <laughs> I 
I, f I feel like Rain will be not happy with this. Uh, yep, he will not be happy. Yeah, he survived. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, they're all weak and just, you know, like tired. Over armor, over song. Morphean Zeru. Flames of Hatred. Wow. Okay. Uh, Abasan is here. <laughs> yeah, like what, what, what problem could they have? They're supposed to be neutral. There you go. Okay. Alright, there you go. Oh my god, Ren is not happy at all. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh. I'm the weak. Uh. <laughs> it just comes back. <laughs> I, I'm I'm surprised as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Oh. oh my ah. <laughs> he's back he's back <laughs> first coffee now okay yeah he still has the Oh, the censorship. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Uh. Okay. Lightning. Okay. Water. Wind. Okay. Earth. Fire. Okay. Okay. Fires of my hatred. Or be consumed by them. Yeah, so see, he still has the hatred within him, but it's controlled. Yeah, look at like he's controlling it. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, that this is awkward.
With oh the whole thing with yeah 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 the ma mantas dead. Content of move. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah 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 okay I forgot about that for a second Oh god Yeah, existed in the wait. So the patch officials know where it is. It's traditionally decided there. Oh, so all the fights have happened there. Huh. They can do anything. Okay. <laughs> One aquarium in reverse. Hmm. Memories of every song. Hmm. You probably just here, came here to take a bath. Oh. Clean up the bodies. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm other man, I I don't think Manta even knows that his dad is involved. Who knows? We'll see. What the? What's it? Oh, it's luckiest. <laughs> eh. What? Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Wait, so they'll just wait until they go away or something? Oh, okay, yeah, that they don't know what they'll do. Okay. <laughs> yep. Ah. Yeah. He didn't know that. Oh. What what's happened to him? Huh? Are they so fast? Oh. Oh, um, okay.
Oh, that that guy that we is it that guy? Yeah, everyone's here. Oh, this took a weird turn, you know, like. Oh no, it's not the same guy. <laughs> oh my god, he's... Uh, but <laughs> you couldn't turn it on that time. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so his name is Tamrazaki. It, it wouldn't work. I don't think it's gonna work. Hmm. I don't think so. Ah. Go with you. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is it? Oh my God, it's bugged. Yeah. So oh, he's he's listening to him, or tracking him. Either of it. Last training I can give you. Uh, that's true. She still has that thing for humans, you know? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm confident that none of you can kill her. Yeah, that's true. Wow, they're like popping up one after the other. Wait, did he's going to join us training or something? <laughs> I've never seen something like this before. Each two of what type of yeah. 
Wow, this is just labeling them as terrorists. Great. Well, <laughs> get arrested. Okay. Hopefully, that's a very wishful thinking. Ooh, two hours. Okay. And they'll not try to kill too many of them. Hmm. Wait, what the? Wait, what happened? Oh, that's uh, John. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, they're going to just, oof. Wow, that's it. Like uh okay that last scene I I that, that that I think that was Jen wasn't it? You know I was like why is she bleeding? She I, I guess she was doing that because uh to increase her furyoku again is is that why she was in that state? I think so. That was Jen wasn't it? I think so. Yeah that's that's Jen. And I think she's is she inside the Iron Maiden or something like. At first, I was like, I was like, what? Who is that? Like, you know, bleeding like that. Um, yeah, she's inside the Iron Maiden, I think. Probably increasing her furyoku or something like that. <sighs> okay. Um, this episode, uh, we resume from the previous episode where we were fighting against the Ren Ren's team, and when they, like, you know, Yo gets electrocuted he falls obviously he falls down and he cannot you know, it's, it seems like everything's over but uh ren realizes that yeah it's not yo well, you know, wakes not wakes but uh, stands up and yo says that it's because he still has hesitation in his heart now but ren says like no there is no hesitation I surely I made sure that I killed him, but he did not die. And then he realizes, like maybe because of the element, you know, the metal element. Now I I have no idea how he, Yo was able to survive that, but I guess it's probably because metal conducts electricity, and I'm guessing he kind of directed the electricity somewhere else or something like that. All so that I don't know, but somehow you know he was able to get out of that situation. Like having metal would mean like you know metals conduct electricity, so it would mean that uh, the electricity would be more or what can I say like it would affect him more, wouldn't it? But if he actually uses the metal to direct and conduct the electricity somewhere else, you know maybe maybe in the earth, you know, and I guess he. Oh, you know what? I understand what happened. I guess um. It's probably not metal, but earth, because yo is earth element. Um, you know when the, there's like a thing called earthening, when you know, like you, know, you you actually earthen, like you know, so that the electricity actually goes to the earth and kind of goes away. Like that's why the various electrical appli appli appliances and everything you earthen it. I think that's what you say. So I guess that's how he was able to save himself because there was like a um like a brown coating on, on on his face which little by little kind of crumbles down i'm guessing that is earth at first i thought that was because he was shocked you know it, it burnt his skin or something 
But I'm guessing that's not the case. It, it's not because she's she's shocked, but because he put a coating of earth on her on his body, and that's why the um, electricity, even if it got into it, like the earth actually acted as an insulator, and did not let the electricity get into his body or something like that. I'm guessing it's it's something like along those lines. And that's why Yo was not hurt. And when he gets up, the earth earth coating a little by little falls down, just crumbles apart. And we can see his face again. So I'm guessing that's what happened. <clears throat> and yeah, the fighting continues. Horo Horo and all of the, the, the all of them are fighting. Horo Horo forced uh Ren um, or who else? You Ryu Ryu. I forgot his name from. Ryu and Yo, while obviously uh, Chocolove doesn't have Abba son with him, so he was kind of not doing anything. Now, okay, so they're fighting, and, and we can see like you know, everyone's hands are just lopped off uh, because of Hororo's eyes and everything. And they they know that later on they will be able to get their hands back because False is there with us. So nothing of much problem here. They were just fighting without any, like with, without any reservation. They were fighting all out. And Ren can see that like, how much, like, you know, how, like, you know, as much as power that they're like, you know, expending towards trying to make Yo surrender, he's not. He's just standing up and is, nothing's happening. <laughs> and yeah obviously because of his inner you know like his inner wish to win his inner confidence and whatever you call it his determination he, he he's not falling down okay now here we get a little conversation with the patch officials where golfa talks about uh the not golfa but the other guy talks about the five great spirits uh fire water uh, wait, fire, water, wind, earth, lightning. Yeah, these five. And so, one thing she's uh, like, you know, they say like the Gandharas are planning to take their those great spirits and give them to the five warriors. And <clears throat> so, I'm guessing just like how has spirit of fire in the future probably everyone will get like a. Uh, like, you know, one of the greatest spirits, uh, the, the elements that they are more comfortable with. For example, um, Ren will probably get uh, the great, great spirit of thunder and everyone will have like one of them. So that will, I'm sure that will make the power difference a lot more better. Like how now, even now, how is untouchable? You cannot defeat him. So I'm sure within that time, there are also grow a little bit more and then after getting the spirits they will probably all five of them combined will probably be able to contend how and uh, yeah we'll see I'm, I'm sure that's going to happen in the future probably in the last few episodes we'll see um okay so the fighting was happening and everyone's like you know just tense and all in comes lyserk and he's like yeah no need to fight anymore because um something has happened uh, the gandhara comes in sati says like up oh, we are retiring from this ma these matches uh, so two teams retires so it wouldn't be a problem for um ren's team and x1 will also join now i do wonder who will be in the x1 team x1 team uh Lysak will be there i'm sure of it who else two more other people should be there shouldn't they so maybe Jan will Jan be there? I don't know. We'll see. Um. So yeah. And I don't think Sati is going to join the fight. I don't think she's going to do that. But Jan might. I'm not still not sure, but we'll see about that. Mm. Okay. So after that, we get into. Like, you know, they, they were like having this conversation and Lysak is like no need to fight anymore Ren is pissed Ren is like oh my god like how did he stop us all of us at the same time what happened to Lysak <laughs> and Lysak here shows his uh he, he says let me show you 
It's an armored oversoul incorporating elements of morphine and Zeruel. It's called Mastima Dolkim. My flames of hatred. Okay, so Abasani is back. Everyone's like confused. What are we supposed to do? And Golva's like, fine, we are supposed to be neutral, so we accept this. Uh, but uh, all the uh, uh, kind of extra information will be done according to the will of the Great Spirit. You'll have to wait. The Oracle will, will let you know what's going to happen for the final battle. So now here's one thing. Uh, I'm guessing they probably skipped the whole Ren versus um, uh, your fight because they kind of showed a little bit and then they did not like, you know, get, I guess they did not go into more details. I'm guessing the manga probably has like one or two chapters worth of fighting, which they probably skipped here. Um, I think so. Now I'm not sure, but this is just my guess. <clears throat> so, okay, now, so everything's fine. You know, and the, all the teams are going to, uh, you know, join the final battle. I thought Bren would be a little bit more pissed. <laughs> because you know this battle kind of was something which actually showed how he is not as strong as he thought he was and there are a lot of other people who are stronger so i thought he would be more pissed he would be like no like you know we need to f uh, finish our fight this and that but he surprisingly he didn't say anything that much he he even joins us for a bath and i'm like okay like this, this kind of shows that he's able to control his anger a little a lot more now <laughs> he's matured if you say you know, think about it like that and uh, yeah now they're kind of talking to ren and uh, you are talking about how a uh, uh, element is actually flame and they're talking about how is it something that they did to you know like because how is also fire is that why that they he got the flame uh, element of fire and how it pops up how is like Oh, <laughs> pops up with a bucket. No, what is that? A little thing with with the bathing things like uh, probably shampoo and stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. And just joins them in the bath. All right, and then they have like a little conversation. Lysark is just pissed. Lysark just comes and tries to attack him. And now here's one interesting thing that we get to know. He actually, so that he does not get burnt in his own flames of hatred, he is controlling it now. So basically, he has not lost or you know, he has not thrown away his anger and his hatred against how is still there in his heart, but he's controlling it. That's what he's doing. So he's so basically that means he's good to control it. Like, you know, he's kind of able to control it. I thought like you know in in the previous episode when they were talking about like let go of your past anger and stuff, he was going to do, do that. But interesting twist here, we can see he did not let go of that. He actually tamed it, and he's going to use that full force when he's going to fight the final battle against How, which I think is a good thing here. He, he did not lose his hatred, but he basically is controlling it now. And he's going to use that when in, only in the appropriate time, the final battle. Before that, he wouldn't lose his uh, head like, you know, because of the anger and hatred inside him. He'll keep controlling it. And that's a lot better than actually letting go of your hatred, in my opinion. Um, like only use it at the appropriate time. So, okay, which we, we see in this episode only, he, he's, he, at first he was just going against how, then he stops and he's like, um, yeah, since like, you know, like, we are going to fight you very soon, no need to fight now, um, yeah, you can take a bath here, <laughs> like, uh, who would have guessed, like, Lysak would be actually allow how to take a bath with, <laughs> with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Alright, Horohor is kind of pissed. Horohor is like, no, what's happening? These guys are enemy, this, that. And then how talks about where the fight is going to happen. It's the continent of Mu. 
<laughs> no, no, I think that's what it said. Let me check. Continent of Moon. Yeah, there you go. Now, I don't know if they mentioned this in Shaman. I think they probably mentioned this in Shaman King only in one of the previous episodes. I probably forgot. But I've heard of somewhere about this. I feel like it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's why I, I, I was familiar with the name, but I did not know what it actually was. So when Howe explains that it's actually like a continent which has been forgotten or something like that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll read that part just a sec. Okay, he says this and Horo Horo is like, is he an idiot or something? And how is like, you just thought I am an idiot, aren't? didn't you? And <laughs> I still did not understand. But then I realized when how said that I actually can read minds. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> and he like, you know, how kind of threatens him. Like, I'm going to tell everyone who you like. He just shuts up. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so now, where is it? What is the Moon Continent? Here we go. A phantom continent that is said to have existed in the Pacific uh, 12,000? No, yeah, 12,000 years ago. It was an advanced civilization that eventually incurred the wrath of gods and sank into the depths of the ocean. And that's the Moon Continent. Okay, and that's usually this, that means the patch officials know where the continent is and no one else knows and they usually <clears throat> do the shaman fight over there because it's kind of appropriate for it, isn't it? Like shamans who are kind of, uh, you know, not accepted by normal humans when they are afraid of them and everything, them going to like the moon continent which was, was underwater and all, uh, <clears throat> which incurred the wrath of the gods. Uh, it's kind of appropriate, like, you know, them fighting over there. And Patch of Ishans probably does something, you know, like, since it's underwater, probably they, I don't know, maybe they do something so that it's easier to go underwater, that they can breathe underwater, or maybe, or maybe they just bring up the continent on top, or something. I'm sure, like, you know, they, they kind of said, like, probably the Patch of Ishans to do something so it's easy, like, you know, so that we can actually fight over there okay so that's where it's going to happen and the house is like that's where i will be you know like i'll be connected to the greater spirit and i'll be able to gain everything and i'll become the king so okay now here we can see like you know the luckiest and all of them they are getting ready to go to how and you know they even took Marco with them and they're like getting ready because how Ka has come come here with a little um job offer you can say he's like we are going to stop the people who got who are getting involved in this you know the normal people the normal citizens and uh, he talks about the whole battleship that is like coming over here and he's like we're going to fight that and the patch officials are not going to get involved because they never do in human, like, you know, in humans uh, stuff, they don't get involved. Now, I do wonder, they kind of brought this question up as well. And I do wonder, what would they do if, uh, you know, how and yo, their team and all of them do not decide to fight them. If they're like, ah, this is not something that we are supposed to do. And they just, you know, keep, keep it like, you know, they just stand by. They just stay standby and what will the patch officials do will they just not do anything and the shaman fight won't happen or are they going to move we still don't know so who knows but obviously how is definitely going to attack them because how's main goal is to become the shaman king and for, for that to happen they actually need to go to the move continent where the fight will happen so you know, if the patch of Christians doesn't do anything, so how must take the initiative because that's like his main goal. He needs the patch of Christians to actually take them to the Mu continent where the fight will happen. And if that doesn't happen, he, he can become the Shaman King. So he's going to definitely take the initiative. And he just came here to tell all of them, you know, like that, yeah, you guys are also involved in this because yo 
you are the reason why this is happening. Uh, the person who is involved in this is Marta's dad. And you brought, like, you know, you involved a normal person into this whole mess. And uh, yeah, that's why this is happening now. And um, it's true, you know, like he, he involved Manta in this. Manta, who is a normal person. He involved him in this. And that's why, you know, like he, the, the thing got leaked because he was being, you know, bugged by the, the, the phone was bugged. And I'm sure they, they got to know, like, you know, about the conversation and all. So, <clears throat> yeah, and these people are now like, ah, we need the power of the great spirit. So, oh boy, like, this is, uh, like, this is the thing, you know, like, the, the foolishness of these people, they are thinking that they can just barge in into this whole thing and like you know defeat how and all of them and get to the uh greatest spirit like what are they even thinking they're they're trying to attack uh the place where how yo uh ru like you know all of these all of these characters even the gandharas are here so and and they're trying to attack that place yeah they're they're, they're just going to get annihilated probably next episode we're going to see now okay then there's that whole thing with uh mikisa talking with uh red seven all red seven is still kind of not happy with the fact that he will not fight how and then we shift to yo and manta manta's sad about the fact that you know he because of him this is happening Anna comes in. Now, at first, uh, they were like, okay, uh, Manta and Yo were like, okay, we're going to go and talk. Anna comes in and Anna, like, you know, just tells them that, yeah, that's, this is like, you know, this is just wishful, wishful thinking. It's not going to happen like this. Because, takes the phone, shows them the little, um, you know, bug in, in it. And she's like, yeah, this, this won't happen. No need to go there. Nothing will come out of it. It'll be just a waste of time, and she's true, you know. Like it is, it's it's correct. I I also doubt anything could have happened by just talking, and obviously, uh, uh, Yo is not happy with this because he's like these people are normal humans, you know. They are not even involved in the shaman fight, and what are we going to do? Like you know, attack them? So, like okay, where is it? Okay, Anna here talks about like, yeah, how people are just, you know, greedy and everything. Now, this, this I, I don't know, this probably still has like part of Anna, probably it still doesn't like uh, humans. Not probably, he definitely doesn't still like humans. And uh, my God, this, this really shows how Anna and how are similar, you know, like, ah oh boy, because Yo was there with Anna from the beginning. Anna did not become how. How became how because there was no person like Yo there to support him. If if this whole situation was actually switched around, if how actually met Yo and Anna did not meet Yo, if this is what happened, I'm guessing Anna would have become the person that how is now. Anna would have become that that type of a person. And she would be like now trying to become the shaman king to destroy the world or something like that. Not destroy the world, sorry, but rule over the world. Um, so it really shows like, you know, like a single person just changed the whole thing. And maybe how also wouldn't have come to this state if a person like Yo was there with him from the beginning. But yeah. Okay. Um, now they they like you know they're like all like getting ready with they're going to fight and they like you know Anna says like oh well, we're going to train you I think that's what they say where is that yeah you, we're going to have like the the training he he tells you about that how also says like yeah I'm going to <laughs> I'm also going to join I think like and and all of them starts popping up one after the other so wait what happened did how actually join in their training or something. No, wait, they, they're talking about training, weren't they? 
Yeah, okay, so they're basically talking about training. I, this part is kind of like, you know, a little bit confusing. I, 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 I didn't understand while reacting to it. So, wait, so... So, how is like, all right, you guys won't be able to, like, you know, defeat me. I can easily sleep here without, like, you know, anything happen. No one would be able to kill me. Ren is like, oh, really? Like, okay, so it'll be an excellent time opportunity to see, study your fighting style. If this is like a training or something like that. So, wait. <laughs> the... <laughs> The main antagonist is joining them for, for training? <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen something like this before. Like what? <laughs> never have I seen a main antagonist actually join the protagonist and his team for training. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is insane. And everyone's like, yeah, we're also going to join and this and that and I don't know if, if they like, you know, had their training or did they skip that part or they we're going to get it later on or something. I don't know. But then we kind of cut off that part and then we go to the next day where the battle, like, you know, the ships and the helicopters are all just coming. And they are like, oh, terrorists, all terrorists, we have located the terrorists, the terrorists have occupied the island. Uh, yeah attack them and yeah that's what they're going with these 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 people are terrorists and we're here to stop they you know, attack them now i do wonder if manta's dad knows that manta is over here if he knows that's that's like worst so he even after knowing he's actually attacking this place so we kind of saw in well, you know, the conversation between Manta and his dad and he is kind of, you know, so, but still, like, this is like, uh, I don't know. But yeah, the, they're like, yeah, attack them. And how is like, yep, time, time, time to defeat them all. Yo, he made a promise with Yo, I guess, that they are not going, he's not going to kill as many. So that even if someone gets killed, they're able to bring them back because their Furyoku is at a, you know, is, is like not so high that they'll be able to bring all of them back. So, okay, now this part, they will see everyone just like, you know, being ready with everything. Uh, Sati, Sati is also, I'm guessing, just ready to like, you know, resurrect people. And Jan, I'm guessing, is kind of in that state, uh, increasing her Furyoku so that after these people gets injured she's able to re revive them something like that <clears throat> and uh, yeah how just goes and just destroys like a ship or something yeah and everyone's like all the people in the ship they're like oh who are this what is this monster and i'm like yeah you you guys deliberately came here to attack this place and <laughs> you're gonna get what you know like what do you deserve now like what the hell my god like and yeah it's like you know this is basically because of greed like they know they have no reason to come and attack this place they're basically here to get their hands on the greatest spirits the knowledge of it and you know control it or whatever that's their plan this is fully fueled of greed so yeah you're getting what you deserve i guess and they are the ones who attack first. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen to Manta's dad. He seems pretty on board with this whole operation. So, ah, well, that'll be, it'll, it'll be an awkward situation. He'll probably die and then be resurrected back. And after getting resurrected back, Manta will probably be come to him face to face. Something like that might happen. And uh, yeah, we'll see. But anyways, that's it. That's my reaction to episode number uh, 45 of shaman king so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that is it next week i'll be back with episode number 40 uh, 46 yeah 46 of shaman king see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day